Hey gang, thanks for checking out this video of Can Crane Make. We're going to be building these DIY plywood speakers based off of a kit that I had got from Rockler. I had previously uploaded this video a week ago. Um, I was just sort of testing out some things. There was some audio playing in the background that got flagged and it was a bit long. And so I decided to cut it down and add this voice over and kind of walk through the process a little bit more. Just taking a moment to plan everything out, get my head around the project. Just figuring out where I need to cut the boards. I'm going to cut two long strips from this piece of plywood that will make up each speaker. And uh, the problem with an underpowered shop and a landlord that did not want to help upgrade it is you often trigger the circuit breaker. So I cut two strips that are gonna make up the sides of the speaker boxes, and now I'm gonna cut up a thin strip that will make up the uh, front and back faces. So I'm setting up to cut the sides of each speaker box. Setting up a stop block so I can make the depths match on each one. After I cut the first piece, I'm going to alternate between each board, so that way when I cut the long and short sides, I can go back and forth from each board, and so I can try to get a grain pattern on each speaker that wraps around the whole speaker. So now I'm measuring for that shorter side of the speaker, and I'm going to add another stop block in here for that side, so that way when I go back and forth, I can just remove that block. So you can see the result that I was going for with that, where the longer side of the box and the top of the box has a green pattern that wraps around. So now we're just going to continue cutting out all the tops and bottoms for each speaker. So now I'm going to set the bevel on my table saw to 45 degrees and cut out the bevels on each side of these faces. So that way we get 45 degree angles on every side and the box will have a nice 45 degree joint all the way around. So now we're going to start assembling the boxes. So I'm just sending tape along every seam. Uh, it's pretty standard on a box glue up. It helps keep the whole box together when you glue it up and you get a nice corner. So I'm just going to add glue inside of every seam, and then we're going to spread it out with a brush just to get an even coat of glue. And 
And we're gonna close up the box. I'm gonna wipe up any excess glue that's dripping. And we're gonna throw it on some clamps just to secure it. And then we're gonna repeat the process on the other speaker. After the glue set, we're gonna remove the clamps and continue. I cut down some thin strips of plywood that I'm gonna put in each four corners. They're gonna act as spacers for the front face and for the back face to screw into. And we're just gonna glue and clamp those up. have the basic outer shell of the speaker boxes made we're gonna get started on the face and the back face here I'm uh, laying out where all the holes are gonna be that I need to drill Thought the box would look nice with just a slight round over on the corner, so I'm going to do that now using my hand router. I'm going to do the same thing to what will be the face of the speaker just to give it a slight little profile around the edges from where it sits in to the speaker body. I'm just giving it a light sand on some of the corners to help smooth out the edges. I'm just marking out a nice point for the drill bit to catch on. I'm going to drill out a recessed hole for the screws to go in that will attach the faces to the bottom. I mark the drill bit with a piece of tape just so I know the depth to go so I don't drill through the entire piece. Now I'm switching over to a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit that's going to be used to drill the portholes in the back of the speakers. I'm not an audio expert, but this is generally used on uh, smaller speakers with a lower powered amplifier to help exhaust some of the bass coming out of the back so it doesn't cancel out the sounds from the front. I'm just following the diagram that came with the speakers, but from what I've read, generally those exhaust holes want to be placed one width of whatever that hole is from the sides. Now I'm switching out to a 2 inch Forstner bit that's going to be used to drill a hole in the back of the speakers that will accept uh, the component where uh, speaker wire will be plugged in to connect to your amplifier. Now I'm just test fitting how that component fits in, and it fits perfect. So, on to the next steps. So, it must be a new day. I'm obviously having a little coffee break, and now I'm going to get started on the front faces of the speaker boxes. I'm 
using a fourth and one eighth hole saw to cut out these holes for the subwoofers. Um, they're a little bit tricky. Um, to get the best cut, you usually cut about halfway through on one side and then flip the piece over and continue the cut from the other side so that way you get a nice clean hole and then you can clean up the hole with a uh, sander after. I think the instructions actually called for a four and a quarter inch hole, but all I had was the four and eighth inch drill bit. So I'm just using that and then I'm going to use the spindle sander to enlarge the hole as needed to get the speakers to fit. Now I'm going to drill out the holes that will be for the tweeters. Um, it needs three holes, two half inch holes on the side that I'm using a force near bit here for. take the pieces back over to the bench clamp and use another hole saw to cut out a one and three quarter inch hole for the center of where the tweeter will go. And this is just the same method I did with the larger hole. Now that we have all those large holes drilled out, we're going to use the spindle sander to clean up the edges. This might be one of the best purchases from Harbor Freight I've ever made, that along with the big disc sander that you can see over on the left. And now we're going to give everything good sand, um, just using a cheap orbital sander I have here a few years back. I've since upgraded to a better quality one, but you got to start somewhere and then it's better to start with some cheaper tools while you're getting used to things rather than spending money on expensive tools. I was really digging the natural color of the birch plywood, so I wanted to retain that. So I'm just finishing these with one coat of this natural oil stain and then I'm going to Top that with uh, shellac for a little more protection. One of the nice things about shellac is that it dries really quickly and you can start working again with your project pretty shortly after. Um, so now that the boxes have their finished coat and all the woodworking parts done, I'm going to move on to the speaking components. I think I was working late into the night on this one, so I had to play a little bit of music and throw in a little few dance moves here and there to keep myself pumped. <laughs> Starting out by drilling some small pilot holes um, so I can screw the subwoofers into the box. And I'm going to do the same thing for the tweeters. Thank you. 
I'm just going to cut up some lengths of the speaker wire for each box that's going to be used for the inside wiring. So once you have four equal lengths of cable, then we're going to get started on wiring the speakers up. Just making a small slice down in between the wires so that way I can strip the wires about half inch on each end so that way uh, I can expose the wire and add on the terminal clips. Once you have the terminal clips crimped onto the speaker wire, the wire with the red strip is going to connect to the positive connection and the unmarked wire goes to the negative. Now we're going to wire up the tweeter similarly. The tweeter should have one large connector and one small connector. The large connector goes on the positive wire and the small connector goes onto the negative wire. And then we can screw our speakers in. I'm adding a bead of silicone caulking along the inside edges to help seal it so no sound leaks out. I would definitely recommend following your wiring diagram very closely, especially if it's the first time you've done something like this. And here I'm adding a buck connector onto the positive side of the wire coming from the tweeter, which then I'm going to connect a transistor to. The wire on that transistor is so small and I'm just adding some electrical tape around that connection to help secure it in place so it doesn't move. The positive wire coming from the subwoofer and the positive wire connected to the transistor from the tweeter into a terminal clip. the same thing for the negative wires and then you're going to connect them both to the terminal cup that screws in on the back side of the box where your speakers will connect to an amplifier. The speaker kit comes with this bag of polyfill which we're going to divide into two for each speaker and hot glue to the inside of the back cover. Um, this helps from what I've read make the speakers sound a little bit bigger and absorb any outstanding waves inside of the box. Now we've successfully finished one speaker. It's looking pretty good, I think. Now we can repeat the process all again on the second one.
decided to add some of these little rubber feet to the bottom of the speakers. I was really happy with how these speakers turned out. I really love how the raw plywood looks. I don't know, makes them really unique. Uh, this was a project that I'd never really tried to tackle before. Uh, I don't know, it was really fulfilling to know that I could do this and then use the speakers afterwards. I just got an extra roll of speaker wire here, so I'm going to wire up the speakers and plug them into a little mini amp that I have so we can see how they sound. I've got these small little metal clips that can just clip into these uh, screw holes that I thought just looked a little bit nicer. Alright, let's see how these babies sound. I don't know something really fulfilling about how a subwoofer moves. dance test after you've made some speakers thanks for checking out this video guys I hope you enjoyed it um, if you caught it the first time around I hope you like this one better and you know I'm open to any feedback anything you guys want to see I hope you subscribe to my channel thanks <laughs>